The Bridges of Konigsberg is a famous problem that was analysed and solved by the great Swiss mathematician Leonard Euler in 1736. It's important because it helped spur the development of graph theory and the wider subject of topology. The old seaport city of Konigsberg was once the capital of East Prussia. It's now called Kaliningrad and it falls within a tiny part of Russia known as the Western Russian Enclave between Poland and Lithuania, which, perhaps to the surprise of even many modern Russians, isn't connected with the rest of the country. Konigsberg lay some four miles from the Baltic Sea on rising ground on both sides of the river Pregel, now the Pregolia. The river flowed through the town in two branches before uniting below the Grunbrocke, or Green Bridge. Seven bridges crossed the Pregel and connected various parts of the city, including Nepoth Island, the site of Konigsberg University, and the grave of its most famous son, the philosopher Immanuel Kant. Six of the bridges connected the banks of the river, three on either side, with two islands in the middle while a seventh joined the islands. A question arose among some of the town's citizens. Was it possible to make a journey across all seven bridges without having to cross any bridge more than once? No one had been able to do it, but was there a solution? Euler, who was in St. Petersburg, Russia at the time, heard about this puzzle and decided to investigate it. In 1736, he published a paper, the English title of which is The Solution of a Problem Relating to the Geometry of Position, in which he gave his answer. Euler reduced the problem to its mathematical essentials, and in this way made it much easier to solve. He realised that the only information of relevance had to do with the connections. Each landmass could be thought of as a point and each bridge a line joining two points. Euler was able to prove that for any arrangement of points and connecting lines, it would be possible to arrive back at the starting point having traversed every connecting line exactly once, if, and only if, a certain condition was satisfied. This condition was that either no point along the way had an odd number of connecting lines. In other words, each landmass would need to have an even number of bridges connected to it, or only two points did. In the second case, if the journey began at one landmass and ended at another, then these two landmasses alone could have an odd number of connecting bridges, while all the other landmasses would have to have an even number. Since the Konigsberg layout of bridges failed to satisfy Euler's rule, there was no way to solve the original problem of crossing all the bridges just once and returning to the place you began. Euler's paper was important because it solved not just the Konigsberg conundrum, but the much more general case of any network of points or vertices that are connected by lines or arcs. What's more, the words geometry of position in the title of his paper shows that Euler realised that he was dealing with a different type of geometry, where distances, such as the lengths of the bridges or how far apart they were, was irrelevant. The only thing that mattered was how the different parts were connected. So this work can be seen as a prelude to the subject of topology. Once again, thanks for watching. I hope you'll check out more of the videos on our channel and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you again very soon to discover more maths.